Hey guys, what's up Indumi gang? I hope you're all having an amazing day because I'm having an amazing day. So if I'm having an amazing day, you all should be having an amazing, happy day. We are in the tour bus right now. I'm vlogging after the Minnesota show in Minneapolis because I forgot to do the intro, so I'm doing the intro right now. So hello, here's the intro and enjoy some of the Minneapolis show. <laughs> You can have that, I'll be on my way And do me again, we are here in Minnesota This is our backstage Look at this This is our backstage I'm dying but... Our freaking backstage is like the size of my bathroom in my house But everyone out there is excited, crazy, insane I'm so, so excited I cannot wait Minnesota, Minneapolis Oh my god Oh my god, this is crazy, man. I'm telling you, guys, people, let's get the lights up. Get it, Nas? Let's go. Ready? Oh, shit. <laughs> Lipstick. Hey. hey! Guys, look what I found backstage. I don't know what this is, but it's like, I don't know, I guess it's a goat and it moves. Like, hey, 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 hey. Oh, he's damn it. I'm excited. Minnesota's hype, man. Oh. It do be gang, I am back. I am so so mad. My vlog camera, the battery died and I cannot find the charger. So now I have to use Slim's camera. So huge shout out to Slim for letting me use his camera. I need to buy a charger for myself right now. The Minneapolis show, it was literally insane. So insane. And I named the top five so and I said New York. And I have to say, Minneapolis, you guys are both a tie. Minneapolis and New York City, you guys are both a tie. And I'm saying it now because Minneapolis, you guys turned up literally. And I learned some Somali words. You guys, I try to tweet you guys, Twitter squad, I try to tweet you guys like to teach me some Somalian words because there's a big Somalian community here in Minneapolis. And you guys kept tricking me and telling me to say like these different words like Demir, Demir, I don't know, Demir was like. I don't know, donkey or something like that, but you guys were telling me that I meant beautiful. I asked someone in person, someone not someone who's not Twitter squad, because Twitter squad, you guys always trick me, the people on Twitter, you guys always, always try to print. And the person that I asked, they taught me a lot of amazing words. They taught me setahin, that means like, hello, how are you? They also taught me wani ja'alahe, which means like, I love you all. Waku ja'alahe means like, I love you just like a person. But wani ja'alahe means like plural, like everyone. So thank you for teaching me that. I'm still trying to learn a little more. Somali because the language is so close to like Arabs, especially that I'm Yemeni like Yemeni and Somalis They have like a lot in common. We're pretty much like cousins. Naz wants to go out and eat because that's all he does literally all day. Oh, yeah. Eat. Have you changed your top five, right? Have you changed your top five, right? My top five? No, no. It's a tie. New York City and Minneapolis is a tie. Well, I've got news for Sydney. I just kicked you out. <laughs> Damn. Wow. It's crazy how Minneapolis just took over like that. I'm sorry wow. Sydney, man. 
Damn. Minneapolis is in there now. Yeah, so no, Austra I love Australia, man. I love, love, Sydney, love I'll Australia. See you soon, Mark. But we're definitely gonna come back soon. <laughs> we might, might come back sooner than you think, Australia. You guys were seriously so amazing. It was so awkward at a lot of points because I'm gonna yeah, tell you guys the two most awkward points today that happened in the Minnesota Minneapolis show. I was telling the audience, I was asking them, uh, is there any dads in the audience? So when I asked, is there any dads here in the building, someone screamed out, you, you're my daddy. And I was so. So awkward. I didn't know what the heck to say. You see it, brother? I heard that. You heard I heard it? that too. That was a little bit weird. I know. <laughs> I guess I'm a daddy now. I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm a proud dad now. But it was really awkward because I was just like, whoa, like. And the second awkward thing is, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. The Minneapolis meeting room. We're taking pictures with a uh, with a couple fans. Yeah. And Slim, Slim farted next to the fan, man. He farted. What? And it smelled so, you know, so he bad. That's disgusting, Slim. No, 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 no. Slim. That's he's disgusting. A, a, and he <laughs> moved away. He, he was moving away. He's like, Adam, come here. Come really? here. And he's going like this. He's blowing the way. He did that. And I'm in, like, what are you doing? He did that in cold water as well. With oh, man. There, he farted, and then he's like, yo, walk away from there, bro. I just farted there. Oh. <laughs> like, what area? Slim. Your leg exposed me, bro. Because they got to know that when they're around you, they got to be careful. Like, oh, shit, it's you. That's so awkward. Imagine, like, like when you guys are taking a picture and then you oh. smell like a lot like something really like eggs and you're like that what is, the heck that's slip. a horrible way to meet a human too we all fart okay <laughs> all right guys we're taking a little mini stop in mcdonald's the only thing that i like in mcdonald's i'm gonna be honest is fish fillet that's the only halal thing anyways but fish fillet it probably tastes the best thing out of everything and it's the only place we can stop because we need like quick places we have a 14 hour drive to dallas and me and Nas, we always fight to pay the bill. So this is what me and Nas do every single time now for every bill. And I'm gonna keep vlogging it. So my card, I have, I give him one of my credit cards, which is a dark blue card. And his card, one of his credit cards, is a light blue card. And we let the person choose. The person who's, you know, charging us, we let them choose. And every single time, they've already chosen Nas's card because it's like a bright, light blue. So I told Nas, if you wanna keep doing that, we'll keep doing that, but he's gonna be charged the whole time. And if he keeps getting charged the whole time, it's kind of unfair because they haven't charged me. He's like, nope, it's okay, it's okay. And I'm like, okay, you know what? So we're gonna try it out right now for McDonald's and we're gonna see who they choose. I'm guessing straight up Nas's one because it's a light blue. Who would not choose a light blue? My one is like a metal, dark blue one. So let's see. This thing in the we have a new game. I got a hair, it's a shirt. What? No. So, which cards would you like? Because we keep fighting over the bill, so we're gonna just, we're gonna let you decide whose money you want to take. Yo, decide. Decide for which pick a card. This one. <laughs> this not. That's Nas's paper. I got me a filet of fish with extra cheese. And do me gang, I am back here in our tour bus. As you guys can see, we have a new tour bus. DJ Itz is not here anymore. He had to leave to London. So the last two shows, Nas is about to be the DJ. But this tour bus, I like this tour bus even better because they have PlayStation 4. And you, this could turn to like two beds. And it's much, much better because the other beds were like really small and like it bounces. Like if the car does a little bounce, you can bounce and literally fall and like straight down on the floor and then you're done. But I just wanna say to the people who come to the shows, you guys do not have to bring like all these expensive gifts because your love, your support is is already enough. Seriously guys, thank you guys so, so much. Someone today, her name is Mirage from Minneapolis. She gave me this Nike, look at this. Look at this, hold up. She gave me some Nike shoes. Oh my God, look. Hold up. I didn't know, look what it says in the back. What? Wow. Oh shit. I didn't even know. Oh, you got these customized, bro. This is sick. Does it gang on that one? I bet it does. A do me gang? Yeah. Wow, yeah, it does. Oh, that's actually lit, bro. Wow, a do me gang. I don't know how she did this. Wow. This shit is dope, bro. It's actually fire. Look, Look at the back of this. No way. Look at that. That's sick, right? That's it's dope as shit. That's fire, yo. How did she know my shoe size, though? Thank you so, so much. Just so you did not have to like do this. Like I don't want you guys wasting so much money on like, this looks like it costs a lot. So thank you so, so much. I appreciate it so much. I love you, Mirage, and I promise I will never ever forget you. You're amazing, and I'm gonna see you next time I'm in Minneapolis. We're taking a little pit stop here in Walmart. Nas wants to buy FIFA, the game FIFA. I wanna buy some like to uh, tank tops. Pick a card. Which card would you like to take the money from? <laughs> oh, you gotta choose. Just uh, you gotta choose one. Take one. Choose one. You gotta pick one. one. Just, Just choose take one. one. We're doing a game. Okay. Oh my god, they always choose that. <laughs> yeah, <three>. They always die. <laughs> a three out of three. Yo, Nas is gonna, <laughs> gonna pay. This is like, how much is it cost? It's got $138. <laughs> so Nas keeps paying for the bill. Well, he, he's the one that came up with the game. Like, to 
to, to do that, idea, and they have to choose. But they they don't always choose yours. They never chose mine. Yeah, you know, so you I know, guess I'm saving money. You know. <laughs> but it's it's a good game because you know what we end up doing. We we like you know you know we start arguing at the counter. It gets mad embarrassing. Yeah. So like, I'll be like, no, no, I want to pay. He'll be like, no, 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 I'm paying. I'm like, Adam, move that away. Yeah. <laughs> but this game now you have it's to pay right. every time. Yeah, which is. I'm gonna wait till the day. I'm gonna wait till the day they choose mine, but they've never ever chosen mine. I don't know. It's just. My one just looks like a normal a hotel card. Nas's one looks like a, a fancy blue, like cool one. So everyone just choose. Everyone always chooses that one. Three out of three so far. That's <laughs> Hi guys, we just got back to the tour bus once again, and I decided to go back on my Facebook to see what's going on on my Facebook because I never go on Facebook, and the reason why I don't go on Facebook is because it's such a negative, negative place. Like it's a negative place for me. Whenever I post something. Every comment is like a hate comment, I hate it so much. This is why I never ever post on Facebook. So I go on Facebook, I'm trying to give it another chance, I'm trying to, you know, like, see what's up. I check my messages, and I see this message right here. Yo, I never liked you, and I don't think I ever will, but I saw your video about you needing an opponent to fight. I'll take that fight any day. P word. I live in NYC Staten Island, come see me. Also, F you and F Rima. She's ugly and fat. So I seen that and it kind of got me really angry because when someone like mentions my family, that's like, like how can you stoop that low? You can diss me out, but don't diss out my family. Don't diss out, you know, a Doomy Gang family. It gets me so, so angry. So I replied, I was like, cool, give me your address. I just wanted his, his address, see if he's, you know, about it. And then he tells me, no, meet me in the city, B word. We don't need a boxing match. I'll F you up in the streets. So and then I told him, cool, Union Square, because my last, street boxing match that I had the last street boxing match that I had which was like two years ago was in Union Square so I told him come to Union Square I want to have like a round two something you know like a boxing match over there and I, I don't care I'll, I'll knock him out since he talked about talked about Rima my family like that I'll straight up knock him out if I ever ever see him. and then he said yeah keep lying we all know you're scared and your videos are whack as F all you do is shows for girls which is kind of not true because a lot of guys do come to our shows. How many guys come to our shows? A lot. A lot. A lot. It's not just girls. A lot of guys come to our shows too. So, huge shout out to the girls and guys that come to our shows. And then I said, no, I'm serious. Union Square. When I'm back to New York City next week. So I'm back from New I'm back to New York after Dallas and Houston. And I want to see. I want to see if I should do this. And I want to ask you guys, should I go and try to meet this dude? I told him, let's see if he'll say all this to my face. And then he replied back saying, I'll show up if you're not joking. Just be prepared, bro. You want to be a thug. I'm also taller than your ugly A. Then I told him, not joking, Union Square, May 23rd, because I'm back May 22nd. And I told him, doesn't matter. I'll show up and knock you out. And then he tells me, this is the weird part about it. He tells me, bring your family so they can see you get knocked out. What the shit? Yeah. See, now, I, I don't know if, like, I don't know if this person now, like, is a fan and maybe they want to see me and my whole family. Or I don't know if they're, like, about it and trying to fight. But what they don't know is, um, I'm from Harlem, you know what I'm saying? Harlem, you know, is the hood. I grew up fighting, I grew up boxing, I grew up in like, you know, having street fights. So if this guy actually comes, which I'm gonna, I'm sorry, gonna ask you guys, should I? Let me meet him. <laughs> what should I do, son? I think it's right, bro. We should fly, we should fly to London for the September fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Like, like, bringing him out for a boxing match in September makes sense, but don't street fight the man. No, 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 no. I would never, I would never want to have a boxing match with this person, what he said. I want to have a street fight. Street fight. I want to have a street fight. And I want to see if he'll say that to my face. Yeah, Everything he said on Facebook, this is why I hate Facebook. I hate it with a passion. I hate, hate Facebook. I love my Twitter squad, even though you guys always prank me and trick me. I love Twitter squad. I love Snapchat squad. I love Instagram squad. And I love YouTube squad. I hate Facebook people. I hate, I hate Facebook. I hate everyone on Facebook. I don't care. Facebook, Facebook sucks, man. So you guys let me know in the comments below if, um, if I should do this and try to meet this person. I'm most likely going to do it because I'm already like tempted and stuff like that. Up. What? You won't even turn up. I want to see if he's going to turn up or not. You see it turn up. How you know? Do you know how many times the messages like that, I've responded to people and they've not even turned up. Now that you've told them this one the time, fans are going to turn up. Huh? <laughs> now that you've told them Union Square May 23rd, fans are going to show up all day waiting for you. <laughs> True, guys. But if the person shows up, he can show me his messages, and it'll be him. And once I he, once I see that it's him and it's his messages, that's when he's gonna get knocked out. So we're gonna see how it goes. No, no one ever disrespects my family, especially Rima like that. So we're gonna see how it goes when I'm back in New York City. Other than that, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Let me know in the comments below once again. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. I like. You.
Chicago Oh, hey, fighting all day, yelling all night, hear it in the hallway She said, you be alive until you cry Yeah, that's what they all say I'm about to go missing, thinking how the I got myself in this position Always got an attitude